Today I'm going to talk about the Sound 4 NG Firewall Bandwidth Management Tutorial. Now I have to give you some introduction about the bandwidth management. Uh, it's a function to allocate the bandwidth channel for internet access to for, of each local user and mainly used for the ISP bandwidth control. So there's application can be controlled. Uh, one of these is uh, online applications which includes some uh, application P2P, P2P streaming media, file downloads, uh, and also the website. And it's more important, there are applicable objects, which is including the user group and the IP. Now we have a scenario here. The customer has 100 amps of internet lines, and have, there is a 200 PC over the network. And most, most of them have complained that the online speed uh, is very slow, then the bandwidth management should solve this problem. Now um, we have to propose a uh, bandwidth management to, uh, before the bandwidth, uh, the, band, the traffics are very messy and after the optimization, the bandwidth should be uh, optimized. So uh, we have, now we propose a solution. So for start, we have to limit the P2P, P2P uh, streams and P2P video download to, to 30% of the total bandwidth and we have to set the main bandwidth per user 125 KB. So in the bandwidth control policy of configurations, first we have to do is a line bandwidth, second application, and the third one is an object and applicable groups. Now uh, for the step one, we have to check the rules, base application, and URL library, whether they're updated to the latest version. So under the maintenance, uh, we can see the update button, we'll click it, and under the URL database category, and you, have, you can see the current versions and the latest version. So all you have to do is just make sure the current version is matched to the latest version. And number two, step two, uh, you have to ensure the WAN attribute is enabled on WAN interface. Uh, under the networks, click interface and uh, interface, and you can see the HTH2 has configured as the WAN under the bridge layer, print zone access, and click it and you make sure the WAN attribute is ticked um, and then we can have click OK and step number 3 set the actual bandwidth public networks line and this bandwidth uh, this public network lines is actually the ISP network that you purchase uh, from the top protocol uh, under the bandwidth management BM line definitions line 1 and by default it's an ETH3, now we have to configure to the ETH2 because this, under my setting, there's an ETH2 and by default it's a 5 Mbps Okay Okay, click OK So we'll come to step number 4, add a new bandwidth channel So under the bandwidth management Click the bandwidth channel. Okay, you can click add uh, to add a new channel. So, but by default, uh, I've already created a start channel for it. Click inside, and you can see the about 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 of the guarantee channel and the limited channel. And here you have to set it thirty percent and thirty percent or so for the inbound, and the system will automatically convert it for the KPPS. And click to the per user bandwidth. By default, it's a 125 kbps, but this is the bit uh, when you want to convert to the bytes, you have to time x, and it is the 1000. And we have to set the 1000 also in the inbound. Okay, and next we click to the applicable object. So all you have to do, you have to specify the restraint uh, application such as the P2P and you have to type P2P here and click search and the P2P uh, will coming out the category will coming up and you have to select all and apply to all user group under this line one and click OK Now we'll come to the step number five, obtain the result after the bandwidth optimizations. So all you have to do is uh, surf a website with the streaming media, uh, click the video and play. And then uh, you have to 
obtain the traffic, uh, click the status under the bandwidth monitor. Hmm. Uh, you can see the bandwidth will run here. If you can't see, yeah, all you have to do is just refresh it and wait. So now the staff channels have the man, max bandwidth of 1.5 Mbps. So by default, you cannot go further than that. Now, yeah, the result is shown. The maximum of the download speed will be the 40.29 and the upload speed will be the 10 and uh, 1 MB. Yep, there is the optimization text effect. Um, it's all for today's and thanks for watching my video.